Hello everyone out there in the YouTubes. My name is Ominator. Wait, 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 hold up a second. My name is not Ominator. My name's Cadence, with a K, that is. So Cadence just kind of became my screen name on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and I stuck with it. And for a couple of years now, I've actually been wanting to change the name of my channel, although I didn't know it was even possible, and I didn't look into it. Now why would I want to change the name of my channel? Well, isn't it fairly obvious? I mean, <laughs> Ominator, yeah. Okay, nobody knows how to spell that. Nobody knows how to pronounce it, and nobody can remember it, so... Stupid fucking name, but I made it in 2008 when I was literally 12 years old, so... It's don't... It's... Yeah. So my new name is Cadence, here on YouTube. And whether you like it or not, I don't give a shit. It's two syllables, easy to remember, easy to spell, easy to pronounce. Isn't it fantastic? Now, back to the point. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm back from the fucking dead. Or, well, I haven't exactly been dead. I've been busy with my education, in fact. So, there's this three-year education course that a lot of people undergo here in Denmark. It's called Gymnasium. It's kind of a high school equivalent of sorts. And I uh, went there for three years, and it was pretty, pretty tough. And uh, especially during the third year, I kind of, you know, kind of started going all downhill slope there. It wasn't, wasn't, wasn't so great. So I decided I had to reprioritize my life temporarily. And one of the things I decided to stopped doing for that time was YouTube. But now I'm back. I actually finished my last exam yesterday and I'm fucking free, dude. Well, almost, because I was also uh, at work today because I actually have a job, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I'm hoping to scrape up some money and move out into my own apartment or something like that in the near future. Uh, but just know that I'm going to go coming back to the YouTubes, man. So I'm ready to make some more videos. I got some things lined up for you guys. And I just want to go over that real quick. Of course, Counter-Strike Global Offensive videos. You shouldn't be surprised, I guess. I play, I play that game a lot. I've been playing it a lot recently. Um, and I really enjoy it. I play with this uh, gaming community called Dying Roses. Uh, and we have a lot of fun, we record a lot of our games, uh, so you're gonna see some of that on this channel uh, in, the near f in the near future. Um, so next up, amp demos. I got more amp demos coming along, I gotta write some more riffs and stuff like that, but I do have some things written out that I just need to, you know, record and, uh, well, the audio, and then record the video and put it all together and that kind of stuff. So you're gonna see some of that stuff soon. Now a big thing that's gonna happen uh, at least in my personal life, <laughs> uh, very soon, is that uh, my family and I were moving out of town to, uh, to the fucking country, dude. Uh, it's not that far out of town, though, so it's not a big deal. Although, I will have a very small room, so I won't have a lot of uh, space to do all these videos. So that's going to limit my options a little bit, but I'll work around it somehow. And of course, I'll keep posting videos for you guys. I got that little phone here with my notes on it, and I wanted to quickly talk about cameras, because I'm actually recording right now with my new camera, which is a Sony Alpha 5100. Right now, it's just got the kit lens on it, uh, but I do have a couple other lenses for it, and uh, I wanted to show you one of them on a different camera. This is the uh, Industar, yeah, Industar 69. It's a 28 millimeter f2.8 lens, manual focus only. I've modified it a little bit, so the focus throw is insane. You can actually unscrew the lens barrel itself, if you can see that. You probably, yeah, you can. Okay, um, but this, this camera right here is a funny story. It's the NEX3N. I actually bought this camera just for the kit lens that's on that camera. Um, and it was, it was just such a good deal that, you know, I bought it and got another camera with it. I was like, well, cool dude. But prior to buying any of those cameras, I actually bought a Panasonic Lumix LX7. And uh, I'm thinking of selling it now because I have uh, two Sony cameras with interchangeable lens options and all kinds of things. And this thing shoots great video as well. So this is kind of obsolete for me, even though I've had it for like a couple months at best. Um, and that's not to say that it's a bad camera, because it's not. It's a really good camera. Um, but I do like the, uh, my options of being able to uh, put new lenses on, all kinds of things. This, this is a point and shoot, only has one lens, can't take it off or anything like that. It is, however, a really good lens on it, but it does limit my options a little bit. Um, and when I have these two cameras to play off of, why would I need that, right? So right now I'm recording in 50 frames per second. This camera only records in 25 frames per second, and most of my content is probably going to be 25 frames per second. Um, but if you guys are interested in 50 frames per second, um, please let me know. I mean, I'd like to know, just so that any projects where I only use one camera, I could do those 50 frames per second. Um, and also, uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive videos, 
will probably either be 60 or 50 frames per second just because I can so that's great <laughs> anyhow so I've been using um, for the past couple of years I've been using my parents Canon 600D which is a great camera it's a DSLR shoots great video I um, mean you've, you've seen it in multiple videos but I've always been limited by uh, first of all the kit lens which is not that great to be honest and the, my lack of a lighting setup now I do actually have a bit of a lighting setup going on right now it's not perfect it's not complete but it does um, it does bring out a lot of options for better quality video and uh, I, I believe I did use that lighting setup in my uh, Selmer amp demo for the last clip in that video so if you want if you want to check that out you can go and take a look at that that was shot with the 600d of course everything from now on is going to be shot on my a5100 my nex 3n probably maybe even my oneplus one if i need for some reason need a third camera um but and the lx7 is probably gonna uh, go up for sale somewhere and some lucky soul is gonna uh yeah have the uh the opportunity of using that for something it's a great camera i shot a bunch of photos in it with france uh, it, with in france uh because i went to uh went to france with my family a couple of uh, well, it's about a month ago, I guess now. I uh, shot a bunch of photos with it. It's a great camera, it really is. Anyway, looking through my notes, that was actually pretty much all I had to talk about, except for one thing, and that is the fact that it's, it's, it doesn't really matter to you, <laughs> but it does matter to me a lot. So I've been using Sony Vegas for, what, eight years now, seven, eight years, you know, creeping up on a decade. Um, it's a really, really long time to use one specific program, and I've been very loyal to Sony Vegas for that uh, time. And I love the intuitive interface, how you can, you know, just splice a clip by pressing the S button, and you can then drag them into each other to create crossfades. And I love the workflow, but Sony guys, and I'm sitting here speaking to my Sony camera, so jokes on me, I guess. But come on, guys, update your fucking software. Codex don't work with Sony Vegas very well. Various different codecs don't work, work very well. AVC HD crashes Sony Vegas all the time. Even if I convert AVC HD to MPEG-2 files, they still crash Sony Vegas from time to time. And the raw files off of this, which are MP4 files, don't work very well either. They also crash the program uh, while I'm editing, while I'm rendering, whatever, you fucking, you name it. It's really unstable and it's, an, it's impossible to get a good workflow going there. So I have uh, made the switch to Adobe Premiere, which is going to take some time for me to get used to because uh, it is uh, a very different editing software, but I'm already getting to grips with the basics of it and I really like it. The workflow is not as good as Sony Vegas, it's not as intuitive, but um, there are a lot of options and there are a lot of things in Premiere that just work really well, like the plugins, the effects, they're just very well optimized. The uh, video preview makes use of your GPU very nicely. Uh, it's a very nice editing software, getting accustomed to it as we speak. Uh, but I just wanted to mention that, throw that out there, so that if you see a, a change in style, for instance, that will probably be because of uh, uh, my working around Premiere, uh, leading to some different uh, uh, options, some different changes in terms of how I shoot and edit my videos. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know, I'm not dead, I'm coming back. I got a lot of things lined up on the... On, whoa, beep, boop, there's a little fly there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a lot of things lined up coming up uh, down the road uh, for you guys. So stick around and uh, fucking cheers, man. I'll see you guys later. Have a fucking good one, dude. Dudes. That's my cat. Oh. oh she, she got you want to be in the video, don't you? Yeah? You want to be in the video? Of course you do. Yeah, boy. He's a good cat. He's a very, very nice cat. He's very cuddly. <laughs> Your pa. You wanna, you wanna touch my nose? <laughs> Tarzan? His name's Tarzan, by the way. This video is way too long. See you guys later. <laughs>